Good morning, Peter here. I've shared with you before that sometimes when I'm looking for a passage of scripture to read for the day, I'll simply open up the book of Proverbs and select the chapter for the date. So uh, there are 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs and uh, today is the 15th. So I just read a little bit in the 15th chapter of the book of Proverbs and I find that's helpful. Uh, from time to time to get a dose of wisdom for the day. Now, the book of Proverbs uh, is the collected wisdom of Israel gathered together in one place. Uh, it's a fascinating book. And the interesting thing about wisdom is that it's trying to communicate knowledge to us, but it's a particular kind of knowledge. It's knowledge that has to do with how we can live a good life or a right life. And uh, the book of uh, Proverbs has a wide range of wisdom to offer, and sometimes it's even in a bit of dialogue with itself, but it's a wonderful resource if we want to grow in wisdom. Kind of reminds me of conversations I used to have with my grandmother. Uh, I would share a concern or something that was going on in my life, and so often she just had some, some wisdom. Uh, she knew a lot about life, how it works, and how to live the best way. So let's take a look at the first uh, seven verses from uh, Proverbs 15 and see what uh, God might have for us today by way of some wisdom. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise dispenses knowledge, but the mouths of fools pour out folly. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. A fool despises a parent's instruction, but the one who heeds admonition is prudent. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure, but trouble befalls the income of the wicked. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the minds of fools. So I don't know what wisdom you picked up as I read that passage, but of course, uh, in this section, the author is dealing with the tongue, with words. Uh, with communication and how we engage in that with other people. And uh, he wants us to think about a lot of things when it comes to how we speak, particularly when the situation might be charged or difficult. He invites us, for instance, to consider our tone, how true it is that even in a heated dialogue or debate, if we choose to use a soft tone, it can just bring the temperature down. And that can really help us communicate more effectively. Or we can also think, he invites us, about what we're actually sharing. Is it really knowledge? Or are we just talking in order to get our opinion out there without any regard as to whether it's actually true or right? He invites us also to remember that God is indeed the judge of everything. That that's not our role. That's not our function. And how often in communication when we're talking we can kind of come off like we think we're the ones uh, whom God has entrusted to judge all people and things. He then invites us to think about communicating in such a way that is characterized by gentleness. Are we being gentle or are we just looking for a way to press our advantage? The next thing he lifts up is a question regarding our openness to learn. Are we communicating uh, in a way that communicates we're open to learn something, maybe that we don't know, or are we just seeking another opportunity uh, to lay out on the world what we think is true. And then he invites us to think about what we're saying in terms of what we're spreading and how it is going to make the world a better place or not. Uh, the words that we offer uh, into the lives of other people and into the world I help shape the world in certain ways. Uh, what kind of shaping effect are our words having in the lives of others and on the world? Are they making it a better place? So in this passage, you see, there's a lot for us to consider today in terms of how we're using words, how we're employing language, how we're engaging in communication and dialogue. And are we doing it in a truly wise manner? I hope that's a blessing for you as you go about your day. And it's a good one.